Hey, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at this alpha um, alpha features in uh, ZBrush. So for me to uh, test this out, I actually need to bring in an alpha. So what I would like to do is just, I'm going to download a quick um, font from uh, this uh, website, and I'm just gonna grab a uh, skull that I can see if I can quickly extrude in ZBrush. So for example, uh, any one of these would work, but I'm gonna grab maybe this one. Once you install your font, you can just uh, go to Photoshop and let's go ahead and create a simple uh, box, which is gonna be like 1024 by 1024. I think this should work. And for ZBrush to use this as an alpha, we do need to make this uh, black background. So I'm just gonna make it black background. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add one of the uh, skulls to the front. And I think the one that I kind of like is this one. Let's make it a little uh, larger. Let's see if we can extrude this and quickly make this into a 3D skull, all right? So in this case, uh, the, ch the font that I chose has this weird box around it. So what I need to do is I need to rasterize this and I'm actually just gonna use my uh, magic wand and just pick the pieces that I like because not all of this would work as a 3D model, right? So uh, I'm gonna hide this layer, make a new one on top, and let's go ahead and just make this to be just white. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. One thing I'm not sure how it would uh, translate are these uh, lines here. So maybe one of the things I could do is grab a brush and let's just customize this. Maybe I could just erase kind of these pieces here. And maybe this guy, I, I feel like the small, smaller pieces are not gonna translate well um, to, be, to be 3D. So let's say you either custom drew something or uh, maybe you, like me, you grabbed one of these icons. And now uh, let's go ahead and bring this into uh, ZBrush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save this as a PSD and bring it into uh, ZBrush. All right, so here I am in ZBrush. The next step, I'm gonna go to Alpha and do an import and just grab my uh, Skull Alpha. So you can see it right there. Comes in uh, nicely. And now to use these Alpha tools, all we need to do is let's go ahead and open this up and let's go down to uh, Create or maybe make 3D. And I'm gonna crank up my resolution a little bit higher to 950. I do want double-sided. I would like it to be smooth. And the depth, I don't really want a lot of depth, so I would like to maintain it uh, kind of thin. So I'm gonna just simply say make 3D while this is uh, active. And as you can see, uh, ZBrush automatically projects this uh, for us. Let's turn our floor off and take a look. It's pretty clean. Uh, I do, uh, let's say I don't want these bevel edges that the projection created. So I could always do press Control Shift, go to our knife tool and grab this guy here. And now if we go into our side view, let's just simply delete all this extra stuff so we have kind of a clean beautiful uh, projection now i can select maybe a chrome material and you can see how quickly in literally seconds you can project any 2d shape in zbrush and create a uh, mesh out of it now you can't really sculpt on this yet. If you go to your move tool and try to sculpt it, you can see that it, there's some weirdness going on. So you do need to turn this into uh, Dynamesh to do that. So let's go ahead and pump this up a little to 512. I'm gonna click Dynamesh. And I actually would like it to maintain the high res. So something like this is pretty good. Uh, and now since this is a Dynamesh, I, I can go ahead and actually sculpt on this and maybe if I wanted to change the shape of it or um, do as I please. So that's, uh, that's all I want to show you guys and I'll see you next video.